गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रेसियोफिलबिन ड्रग दिस ग्रेसियोफिलबिन ड्रग विल कम अंडर द एंटी फंगल ड्रग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रेसियोफिलबिन दिस ग्रेसियोफिलबिन इट वॉज यूजली स्टार्टेड विद द एज ए एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड दिस इनिशियली एज ए एंटीबायोटिक्स इट दिस एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द पेनिसिलियम ग्रेसियोफिलबम इट इज स्टार्टेड एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द पेनिसिलियम ग्रेसियोफिलबम बट ड्यू टू इट्स लो एंटीबायोटिक प्रॉपर्टी इट वॉज स्टॉप्ड एज ए एंटीबायोटिक यूज बिकॉज द एंटीबायोटिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ग्रेसियोफिलबिन इज वेरी वेरी लो दैट्स वाई इट वॉज नॉट यूज and that time the penicillin group of the antibiotic was the most uh, most effective drug so initially as it was discovered as antibiotics then also it is due to its low antibiotic property this gasofilmin as a antibiotic is stopped later on this drug is used for the dermatophytes the dermatophytes which is a fungus infection dermatophytes which is a fungus infection and this drug is used for the dermatophytes and these dermatophytes is most active on the superficial derm on the skin involving the epidermis not the dermis the gracefulbin it is it act as a fungostatic in nature it is a fungostatic in nature and it is very much effective against the epidermophytes trichophyton trichophyton and microsporum this gracefulbin is not active on the deep mycosis and candida infection it is not active against the candida infection and deep mycosis due to its high concentration and ability in the dermatophytes these gracefulbin has a high concentration ability in dermatophytes it is selectively used against the dermatophytes where these tinea infection occurs in dermatophytes tinea infection occur in the skin or the dermatophytes this gracefulbin is highly selective for the dermatophytes that's why it is used against these dermatophytes mechanism of action mechanism of action as the drug gracefulbins gracefulbins inhibit the or interfere with the mitosis which is a cell division form from one cell to two two cell the stages of cell division are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase thus in this m phase that is in the metaphase stage these gracefulbin acts and alters the metaphase stage this gracefulbin this gracefulbin alters the metaphase stage how this happens we will discussing in the this picture this is a metaphase stage where the this in this metaphase stage in this condition here the chromosomes are being aparted on the polar sides from the both to the both polar sides these gracefulbins here the daughter daughter nuclei and this is the microtubular microtubular protein this is the microtubular protein which binds with the chromosomes and pull towards its polar side for the division of the cell in mitosis what happens this gracefulbin uh, interferes with the chromosomes and daughter nuclei fails to move apart or they move only very short distance thus metaphase where the chromosome should be uh, should be reached towards the polar side it does not reach it and it moves only up to the it moves only apart very uh, uh, very short distance and fails to move apart another mechanism of action of the gracefulbin this this is the microtubules which pulls the this is the microtubules which pulls the daughter nuclei what happens gracefulbins 
this microtubules helps in pulling nuclei to the polar side resofilm binds with this polymerized microtubules binds with the this is the polymerized microtubules the resofilm binds with the polymerized microtubules and interferes the metaphase and interferes with the metaphase or meta uh, 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 and interferes its the its functions thus metaphase process is being halted metaphase process is being halted by in by binding with the polymerized microtubules and binding with the nuclei and fails the daughter nuclei to move apart thus metaphase process is being altered and abnormal metaphase configuration occurs this is the main mechanism of action where where in the colchicine colchicine which is used against in acute gout there metaphase arrest occur but in this it is not the arrest it is the it it brings metaphase alteration it is not the uh, arrest metaphase arrest it brings out the alteration in the metaphase stage of the cell division brings out the metaphase alteration in the cell division the pharmacokinetics of the cell the drug is better soluble with fat and in the micro and ultra micro part ultra micro ultra micro fine particles the drug is better soluble with the fat fat molecules fat but uh, fat solubility because it is uh, the uh, gracefulness is fat soluble that's why it is better solubility sol soluble with the fat and in the micro and ultra micro fine particles more and more ultra micro fine particles more and more solubility this gracefulness is highly get deposited where it is get, uh, highly get deposited it get highly deposited in the hair nail and skin as we have shown in the picture the keratin tissue hair nail it is the nail and the body skin thus gracefulin is get highly soluble uh, uh, get uh, get highly deposited in the hair nails and body skin as well as it get highly get concentration in the tinea infected cells on the epidermis cells wherever if the nail is involved and with the those nail who is involved with the tinea the gracefilin get highly concentrated in that area whether it is hair skin or it is the nail and due to it selectively get deposited in the dermatophytes it is used only used per, per, it is used used only for the dermatophyte infection and epidermis infection in the, as a antifungal in it is excreted via urine the half life is the 24 hours as soon as it enters to the blood circulation and it reaches to the keratin tissue it remain persist it remain persist it remain persist for weeks or even in the month or for even even month this uh, gracefilin even persist for weeks and even for the month in keratin tissue the adverse effect it is the most uh, not most common but one of the important adverse effect is the gynecomastia which is usually asked in your pg examination thus g for gracefilin and g for gynecomastia gynecomastia means the appearance of appearance of breast tissue in male thus one of the and uh, uh, and altered adverse effect of the gracefilin g for gracefilin and g for gynecomastia gynecomastia which is asked in your pg examination other headache and git disturbance such as nausea vomiting and diarrhea 
uses it is used orally with fat soluble foods and it is used against for the dermatophytosis it is used against the dermatophytosis here i have shown you in the picture this is the old keratin tissue the new new keratin tissue as the infection occurs as the infection occurs as the infection occurs in the old uh, old in fact this is the old infected keratin tissue this is the old infected keratin tissue and this is the blood vessels this is the blood vessel through which the aggressive felvins enters into the uh, invaded keratin tissue and drug reaches to the superficial or infected keratin tissue and get deposited till till the invaded keratin tissue get set off till the invaded keratin tissues set off the fungus persist in the old keratin layers but those cells who which have those new keratin cells are which are not involved when all these superficial keratin tissue get set off and then then the new keratin tissue will overlap or overcome which is fresh and not invaded with the dermatophytes not invaded with the dermatophytes thus it is very useful to understand that dermatophytes involve only the uppermost keratin tissue uppermost uh, keratin tissue and this drug via blood circulation reaches to the uppermost part of the uh, keratin tissue and this it is it is set off this is set off and the new keratin tissue get deposited which is fresh one so the treatment so the treatment will depend so the treatment is dependent upon the keratin tissue thickness and site of infection because this gets deposited in the keratin tissue so the treatment is dependent upon the keratin tissue thickness thickness and site of infection uh, keratin tissue it is the uh, turnover rate of the keratin uh, in, because the uh, fingernails hairs palm soles their keratin tissue are being set off on the on different different weeks and different months thus it will depends upon the turnover rate of the keratin keratin where the site of infection present topical application is not effective if in scalp that is uh, tinea in case of tinea capitis if the infection occur in the scalp in such as in case of tinea capitis the aggressive film should be given to the till 4 weeks if it involves the palm and soles palm and soles keratin tissue the drug should be given to the 6 to 8 weeks and if the uh, if the drug if the infection dermatophytes involve the fingernail fingernail then the drug should be given to the 6 to 8 weeks but if the toenail is involved if the toenail is involved then the drug should be given to the 10 to 12 months drug should be given up to 10 to 12 months in the scalp soles and fingernail it is given for the weeks whereas toenail it is given to the months this drug is reserved act and should be kept as a reserve drug in case of nail and tinea capitis infection it is very much also effective against the athlete foot thus dermatophytes involving the nail and tinea capitis this drug is very much effective and it is useful against against the athlete foods so treatment will depends upon the keratin tissue thickness and site of infection it is it is this is uh, this is very much important when the dermatophytes involve the nail the dr drug regimen should be given up to 10 to 12 months and if involves the scalp and palm and soles the drug regimen should be for the weeks now comes the drug interaction in drug interaction drug interaction drug interaction it is an enzyme inducer the gracio filbin is an enzyme inducer it means it induces c c450 enzyme 
CYP450 enzyme is being induced with this as soon as this drug is induced it increases the metabolism of other drugs thus metabolism of other drugs become, become faster and they become ineffective and if a female having dermatophyte infection and she is taking oral contraceptive pills due to its enzyme inducer property the CYP450 enzyme is being induced and thus the OCP the female who is taking oral contraceptive pills this uh, in low concentration their metabolism will be faster and it will become ineffective thus, con thus contraception failures occurs patient who are taking warfarin it will also have strength warfarin so the warfarin and OCP these dose should be monitored and should be changed by when a patient here is, is on gracefelvin one of the also important point the gracefelvin is intolerance to alcohol patient who are patient of uh, dermatophytes and you have you are giving gracefelvin and he takes alcohol he will be having some problems so the patient who are taking alcohol either you stop your gracefelvin or tell him to stop alcohol because if patient is taking gracefelvin and he takes alcohol it will be the their heart rate will be increased flushing face sweating redness of face these become intolerance gracefelvin is intolerance to alcohol thus whenever you have to uh, prescribe gracefelvin the two to think two to three things should be uh, in your mind that where the infection persists if the if the infection persists on the scalp nail or sole the drug regimen on the drug regimen should be for the weeks and months and patient should avoid alcohol intake and one of the important which is asked in your in, in PG examination that is gracefelvin it causes gynecomastia and it is a enzyme inducer thank you